friends welcome back to another video today i got my taxes so i'm going to stuff them into my cash envelopes and my sinking funds before we get started i just wanted to show you guys the documents that i made and um that i open and let you guys know that i opened my etsy shop i know i said it was going to happen in the next few weeks but last night i decided to just go ham on it and i um created four documents well they're all in one pdf file so if you buy it you get all four um and I only have one printed off because this is the one I need to print off for the for the lady at the bank. It's the cash breakdown card, but this is what it looks like. So then if you print it off, um, you can just cut it out and then you can fill in your bills and then however many you need of each one. It'll make sense if you didn't watch my other video. It'll make sense when I show you mine that I used today. So yeah, that is in my Etsy shop. My Etsy shop name is lifestyle by d so yeah if you want to check that out it's available too also has a bill tracker so that includes your monthly recurring expenses your sinking funds and um uh, your cash envelopes which i'm about to do so you'll see what it looks like so yeah that's pretty much all i had to say now i'm gonna stuff my envelopes okay before i start stuffing my cash envelopes i wanted to show you guys what my cash breakdown card looks like filled out so here it is. Um, I'll focus here real quick. But this is what I give the bank teller so that she knows how many $100 bills they give me, how many 50s, how many 20s, etc. Um, and then I write the total at the bottom. You don't have to. I just write it so that she knows that that's how much I want and that it matches the amount of like the total. Um, so yeah, this is included in the document that you can buy on my Etsy store. Or if you don't want to buy one, you can literally just draw it out yourself if you want i just think it's cute like this and then it's easier to fill out so um yeah this is what it looks like i just wanted to show you guys what it looked like filled out okay now we're gonna stuff my cash envelopes so i have four categories for my cash envelopes and these are just basically envelopes that i'm gonna put in my purse and um yeah and that's this is what i can spend the cash that's in the envelope on so for groceries i have a hundred dollars budgeted out for that so i'm gonna take a hundred dollar bill fold it and put it in the grocery envelope um by the way this i just got my tax money today and it was a little over 1700 so i took out 1400 for my cash envelopes and my sinking fund because i have a 300 dollars car payment coming up so i kept the 300 in the bank because that's how i pay for that um so yeah that's where this money came from um all right next is beauty and beauty is like things for my nails my nail appointments, um, if I need makeup, anything like that. So I put 75 um, into this envelope. So I did a 50, a 20, and a five. And then I'm just gonna put it in here. There we go. Um, for these envelopes, I literally just bought like thank you cards from the gas station, or not the gas station, the Dollar Tree. And it comes with like a pack of eight. So I used the envelopes. I bought some stickers from there and then I wrote the category on it. So just as easy as that if you want to do it that way. I might find some cuter ones later. But so now I'm doing gas and I put $60 aside for gas. And this is supposed to last me until my next payday, which is about two weeks away. So I don't know if I'll use it all. I mean, sometimes I leave, I tend to leave town a lot. I like to go to like Toledo and Ann Arbor but if you guys don't know what that is it's like 50 minutes from my house so I like to go to the bigger cities around me um a lot so I might need to use it all who knows other is I don't know if I run out of gas money and I need more than I can get into other if it's just anything random that I didn't plan for that's what this envelope is for so I believe I did 3 20s for that and then a five to make it 65 there we go. And then, yeah, like I said, I'm just going to put these envelopes in my purse so that I can have them with me. Okay, so now we're going to stuff my sinking funds. And this is what I use to hold my sinking funds. This binder and these envelopes are both from Amazon. I just use a Sharpie um, marker to write the category on them. I put the links to these products in the description box below. So if you want to go check it out. There you go. And then they have a ton of colors. It's not just blue. They have a whole bunch of colors. So you can pick whatever color you want. Um, if you watched my first video, which was last night, 
I stuffed it for the first time. So that's where these amounts came from. I have my starting amount here for each category, how much I'm adding, and then I'm gonna write the end amount after I stuff it. So here we go. Here is my future rent. Um, this is gonna be in August is when I have to start paying rent. So I wanna get ahead on it. I currently have $55 in it and I'm gonna add 350. So I have three $100 bills and then a $50 bill. I'm just gonna take it out to get it all situated. All right, so 100, 200, 300, 350, 400, $405. So we're gonna write the end amount. Yeah, now we have $405, cool. So future rent is done. Okay, next we have Christmas. So Christmas, I have $10 in currently, and I'm going to add $60. So I did three 20s, I believe, for that. Okay. All right, let me see here. All right. So 20, 40, 60, and 70. And I just like to count it because, I don't know, it just, um, obviously we know 10 plus 60 is 70, but it's just, like, nice to, I don't know, hold it and count it and make it all go the right way. And, um, yeah. Yeah to avoid any mistakes, any brain farts, you know? So yeah, 70 for Christmas now. Okay, next is my just in case um, envelope, which I consider like my emergency thing, but I don't like to call it emergency because it has like that negative connotation, it's kind of scary. So it's my just in case um, envelope. So there's 15 right now and I'm gonna add just a hundred dollar bill. So we know 115 is 115. We're just gonna count it, 100, 110, 115. Um, and make sure they're going the right way because I don't know why I just like to. And we're gonna put it in here. All right, let me write 115. All right, next we have pets. Currently, pet pets, it only has $10. I am going to add 40. So that's two 20s is what I did. So I didn't take out any 10s today. So we currently have 20, 40, and $50 for my pets. Okay. Next is my future child. My future child currently has $12 and I'm going to add 50. So just a $50 bill. Take this out. We have 50, 60, 61, 62. Okay. 62 right here. All right, now debt. I have a lot of debt, so I need to really start paying this off. So I put 200 towards it today. So I'm gonna grab two $100 bills, take the 20 out. Make sure they're going the right way. 100, 200, 220 for debt. And I think once it hits like 500, I will take it out, put it towards one of my credit cards and start over. So let me write 220. Okay, card tags. Card tags will be coming out in May. I would love to have it all set. It's pretty close, honestly. Um, could be because I'm adding $75 to my 20. So I did a 50, a 20, and a five. So we'll go here, 50, 70, 95. 95. This is so fun, I love to stuff the envelopes, I don't know. It makes me wanna like go out and do a whole bunch of DoorDash and make a whole bunch of money. Um, so yeah, definitely recommend you start doing this. <laughs> All right, future home currently only has $10. I am taking a whole $100 bill and putting it in there with my 10. So now we have 110. Write that down. Okay, finally we have vacation. So vacation has $30 right now, and I'm adding what is left, which is $125. Let me take this out and get it situated. OK, 
Okay, so 100, 120, 140, 145, 150, 155. $155 for a vacation. And that concludes our stuffing of the sinking funds. Okay, before I end the video and go like to my outro, I wanted to let you guys know that I am doing the $5 saving challenge this year. I've seen everyone like post about it, so I'm definitely gonna try it out. Basically what the challenge is, is whenever you find a $5 bill, you like come across one or it's in your change, you take the $5 bill and you do not spend it. You put it in a little savings jar. So that doesn't count for like if I go and I ask for five so that I can put those fives in my sinking fund or in my cash envelopes. Um, then if I took them out for that, then that's where they're going to go. But if I get it back in change, say I go put $25 in my gas tank and that leaves a five in the envelope and then I don't spend it. So then when I go to restuff the envelope, there's a five in there. I'm gonna take the five and I'm gonna put it in the jar. Today, I took my dad's girlfriend to her job and so she gave me $16 and I have a five. So the five is gonna go straight in this jar. It's my first five since I started because I started today. So I'm literally just gonna put it in this jar and it's not gonna come out until uh, 2022. I'll just say that. So yeah, January 1st, 2022, I'll be taking this out and counting them. Um, hopefully, I'll need a bigger jar. <laughs> but yeah, so, and because I'm starting to use cash instead of card, um, I think I'll run into a lot of five and I'll have a lot saved up. So yeah, let me know if you guys are doing any challenges this year to save money and, or if you're doing the $5 challenge or if you did it last year, let me know how much you ended up saving. So I just finished stuffing my cash envelopes and my um sinking funds both of the charts like the trackers sorry my dog's making a lot of noise back there both of the trackers um are in the document that i uploaded to my etsy shop um so it's four total like i said it's five dollars and yeah i was up really late last night doing it working on it so if you do purchase it just know that a lot of hard work went into it and yeah there's a lot of behind the scenes things that people don't see um and i'm learning that so yeah thank you guys for the support thank you guys for watching the video i hope you guys start one of your own because they're so fun and it's so motivating to go make money yeah that's my shih tzu making that noise that's all for today's video i guess i'll end by showing you my dog bentley um oh yeah pets the envelope for pets can definitely go towards their haircuts because these dogs, their hair goes so fast and they have to get their hair cut like every two to three months. Um, no, it's actually two months. It's eight weeks. Yeah, she, she has a little bandana. I'll show you my shih tzu real quick just because she's here and she wants to be seen. And she wants to show you her bow. <laughs> here she is. And here's her little green bow. Right? This is London, by the way. So yeah, and then I have two other dogs. They're not in here currently, but we have Rocky and... Iris, uh, Iris is a husky, Rocky is a Belgian Malinois, and so yeah, four dogs, four fur friends, so that's why I started the pet fund. Okay, that's all for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys soon.